So hi, this is me. A side note, I completely forgot to add in my face. So I've realised I have a problem and it's making me very unproductive and it's that I spend far too much of my time on my phone and doing pointless stuff on my laptop. And as you can see, this does make me happy. However, in the long run, I think it's making me quite tired and um, not so happy. I also just want to add that because I'm spending so much of my time on my phone and on the internet, I'm really not sleeping that much. And my sleeping pattern is so bad. Like I literally wake up at eight for lectures, but then go to bed at like one or two in the morning. So we have a problem. So because I spend the majority of my time on the internet, here I am having a little bit of a scroll through our old classic YouTube. And whilst I was on here the other day, I found a remarkable bunch of videos called 5am morning routines, which, hmm, this becomes a little bit of a thing and a lot of people seem to be doing it. So I was like, what is so special about 5am morning routines and why the heck is everyone doing it? Anyway, so I watched a bunch of these videos and realized that every single person that is doing a 5am morning routine is having a great time. So I have got to thinking, what if I decided to do a 5am morning routine? Basically, because I just want to see if it's going to help me get over this weird ass feeling that I've been feeling and maybe be a little bit more productive and have more energy. So, hi. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna be trying to do 5 a.m. morning routines for seven days. I wanna, I wanna assess like how I'm feeling throughout the week and do like the beginning to the end. So there are, there are four things. The way, the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna assess my mood, productivity, no. So we're just gonna do three. I'm gonna do my mood, my procrastination and my energy. So there's three things that I'm gonna monitor throughout the week. So they're my like focuses. I wanna see how it differs from today to next Sunday. Today is Monday the, you can't see that, but it's Monday the 4th of November. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little scale. You'll be, it'll be on the screen now, so you'll be know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna do it in paper here first. I'm gonna do it today and then we're gonna follow that up in seven days time and see what the end result of this little challenge is. So hi, welcome to my channel. So, funny story. I obviously had to wake up before my alarm to, to actually set up my camera so that it could catch me waking up my alarm. Anyway, I fell back asleep. This was not my intention. So here I am sleeping until my alarm actually woke me up. And then, obviously it takes a few more than just the one beep to wake you up. So, here I am struggling to find my phone, which is rather amusing, because where the hell are you going, Helena? Yeah, she got it. And then, <laughs> for the next like 20 minutes I literally just laid in bed with my phone fell a little bit back to sleep again looked a little bit scary here I'm looking a little bit delirious before I then decided to actually go downstairs have a little time with my dogs oh my god I look actually feral <laughs> don't get a fringe and have a big old pint of water because this is something I literally see every single 5am morning routine gal doing I really hot bars <laughs> Um, and then obviously make a coffee. Good morning. Nope, there's no saving that. Cool, so I'm up. And to be honest, I don't actually feel that tired. There's a bit of a slow start today, but that's fine. Now I've got my coffee. Okay. Right, so then I decided to climb back into bed and took out my little notebook and wrote a to-do list and things I'm grateful for because every single morning routine person does a to-do list and they also do things they're grateful for. So I was trying to do this as well. And it took me a hot minute to try and work out things I was grateful for, but we got there eventually. And then I went and did a face routine kind of thing, um, which is something I never actually do. So this was thoroughly enjoyable to be fair. Um, and I would definitely recommend if you don't do, I mean, majority of people probably do this. It's just me that doesn't do it. I didn't really know what I was doing as you can tell from my face here. Like, I don't know what's going on. I really have no idea what I'm dancing like this for. Wow. And then I went downstairs and made some porridge. I had blueberry porridge because this is so good and obviously a very stereotypical morning routine thing. And then I came back upstairs and stopped being productive and just scrolled on my laptop for ages with my cat and then made my bed slash attempted to make my bed, but my cat was on my bed. So here I am trying to entice Nellie into the other side because I didn't want to disturb her too much before I could make my bed. And there we go. And then obviously now two hours has passed before I, like since I'd actually got up. So it's about seven o'clock here and I decided to go for a run and then get on with the rest of my day. But it's 5.30, I fucked up. <laughs> and I'm having so many regrets. 
So I've seen a lot of people do this challenge and not challenge, just their morning. And majority of them have a gap. So I'm gonna like this bad boy. I'm zen out. I'm up and out. It's times like this and I really feel like I need a tripod because my arm hurts. It's about seven now, so the extra half an hour in bed really set me back for the warning, but I did manage to get out quite quickly just then after my little meditation, which didn't really go too well. But alas, that's fine. Baby steps, people, baby steps. I actually feel fine now that I'm awake, but yesterday I didn't end up going to sleep till like a half 12, one. So in reality, I've only had four four and a half five hours sleep so this morning routine i think i've almost, i've got it down but i need to make it quicker <laughs> both days i've like actually got out of the house by like seven but i've woken up at five so like what am i doing for those two hours i don't know it's like when you wake up at five let me tell you you feel you feel it i am a bit concerned because i'm going out this evening which means i'm going to probably have another night of crap short amount of sleep but i think you've just got to stick at it because if i had let myself sleep in longer then Firstly, the whole video would be rendered useless. I mean, I did sleep in for an extra half an hour, but that's fine. Just, that's fine. If I'd let myself sleep in more, then I would have gone to bed later again and then like slept in later. You've got to just keep going. I don't know how I feel about waking up when it's still dark though. Like that is, I walk downstairs and I have this thing where I, all of the windows kind of creep me out because there's a lot of windows in my house and I always think there's someone there. So when it's dark, a little bit terrifying because it still feels like 1am, you know, when all the scary stuff happens. So yeah, that's not the nicest, but I like this time in the morning, all nice and crisp. Crisp? God, I don't know who I'm turning into. We'll just power through, because then I'll get a good night's sleep, and then in the morning, I'll wake up at five, raring to go, and I won't even feel tired, hopefully. I literally just like, laid in bed and was like in a very weird like dream, but not kind of dream state. So now it's 5.45. So, um, it's now, I don't know why I did that, it's now about seven-ish, or well, it's quarter to seven. So an hour has passed and I haven't really done anything. I'm not gonna lie, I've been very unproductive for absolutely zero reason. So the morning routine thing is going well. <laughs> I spend far too much time on social media. I am gonna be productive. My gym actually opens at half seven, so I'm gonna go there for then. But I'm gonna wash my bedding and I'm going to tidy my room because it's an absolute tip. Currently, yeah. Yeah, I feel awake. I just feel like I don't want to do anything. Oh my god, I'm yawning. How ironic. I've got to like get back into the routine life. But I have done everything in the routines. I haven't meditated actually. Maybe I should do that. Damn it. So it's day three and it's about to get a little bit deep. Three days in, we love that for me. As I said in the beginning, the reason for me sort of doing this video was to kind of firstly see if I can do it and secondly like feel a little bit more good, motivated, positive and just feel like generally kind of better. As I said, like I feel like I'm happy most of the time and like I am a happy person, but there is at the moment there is something that's just a little bit like, ugh. So yesterday I went out for dinner. Now before I went out for dinner, I had a bit of a moment. I was <laughs> trying to find something to wear basically and couldn't find anything that I felt okay in and everything got a little bit too much and then it all turned into this massive thing and I got a little bit upset and almost had the panic attack but managed to prevent the actual attack from happening 
it's hard to describe because you're kind of just like so overwhelmed with emotion for no real reason. In the end, I found an outfit and I felt fine. The reason I'm telling you this is because it doesn't really, you wouldn't think that it really is applicable to this video. Because I've not had a lot of sleep in the past few days, I think that is impacting me in a negative way as opposed to like waking up as opposed to like waking up at 5 a.m. and that being a positive thing. What's interesting and kind of confusing about it is my general day-to-day -day life, I don't feel as anxious as I have done. And in the past, when I had really bad anxiety, it was like a whole day kind of just this constant anxiety. Whereas that was like, all of a sudden, this sort of whole thing came from nowhere. Even though like throughout the entire day, I'd been really positive and had a really good day. I had started to get a little bit tired. So maybe that did impact it more than I probably realized. I was literally like, just come back from the gym, really happy, had a shower. And then all of a sudden it was like, which is really confusing and not what you want when you're filming a weekly video but I thought I would share it because I do think it's important important to share the good parts of life and the bad parts and not I don't think it's this challenge that has given me an anxiety attack because I've only done it for three days and I've literally been waking up at five it's not like a big thing but this has happened while I've been filming it so I feel like I should share it as well and not just share like me waking up at five like me actually sharing like okay well we had a bit of an, an issue yesterday yeah so this morning i woke up and i cleaned my entire room because tidy i do mess this up a minute ago tidy key, tidy space tidy mind i don't know it was just like a momentary thing but i think it just highlights that, that i do still have that problem even though i'm happy the majority of the time and so i guess that's why i want to do these types of challenges to try and make my life the least anxiety provoking and the, the kind of happiest version of myself not that waking up at five is going to do that but you know what i mean like hoping that this does make me feel a little bit more productive and more energetic and all those things that i listen on day one but i'm definitely going to make sure i have a little bit more sleep tonight operation figuring out helen's brain is a proper go today i feel absolutely fine i've got my tea i've cut my hair and i feel much better not that curling my hair solves my problems but it, it does make me feel a lot better <laughs> anyway we will we'll get to the bottom of it we'll be okay that's why we're here cute Waking up early in the morning. <laughs> the first like half an hour at 5 a.m. is freaking horrible. People in these these morning routines just sort of like wake up and they're like, I'm going to go. And I'm there like, help me. I'm gonna seize the day. Literally look at me. I look so freaking sad here. It's outrageous. And I'm spending far too much time on my phone. I think day four was the one that I finally realized I need to throw my phone away. Yep, yeah, there it is. So I promise that didn't last that long and I did actually get on with my day. I might do this in the rest of my morning routine, but it just doesn't look like it because I look so miserable. But I promise I am happy on the inside. I don't want to get up. <laughs> Why am I doing this on a Saturday? I'm gonna close you. So hi, good morning. So I'll tell you what my issue is today. That sounds so negative, okay. Anyway, it's a Saturday, right? And Saturday and Sunday, my library nor my gym open till nine. It's so like shit. I don't know what to do. So I think I'm gonna walk to uni, same time as I normally do. So about quarter to seven, I'm gonna go into uni, be in uni for half seven, and then work from there, um, and then go to the gym at like nine. Yeah. I've gotta write my to-do list. Oh, oh, I, oh my God, I just didn't do any of these things. I know it's the last day and all, but I really don't wanna get up. Too early. So hi, day seven 
we made it. I'm wearing a hat by the way because I'm having a bit of a bad fringe day. So that's why this is going on. So it's time for the big summary, the big reveal, the big... I don't know. I did write some notes. Okay. <laughs> Overall, waking up at five is very early. Throughout the entire week, that was just the general feeling. At 5 a.m. when I woke up, I was absolutely shattered, like every day, regardless of when I went to bed the night before. Maybe on the first day was the only day that I thought potentially okay, but no, 5 a.m., too early. However, after like 20 minutes to half an hour of being awake, I tended to be happier and less tired than if I had got up later, if that doesn't make any sense. I really enjoyed like getting up and having like a chill morning, you know, like sitting in bed and like writing a to-do list and stuff. I found that really therapeutic. It's not something I've done before. However, I must say that because I was getting up so early, oh, hello. Because I was getting up like so early that I had so much time in the morning that everything was just very slow. Whereas if I had got up at like six, I probably would still got the same amount of time same amount of stuff done and been able to kind of do it a little bit faster because I would have had a little bit more rush. But I did like the like slow and chill kind of vibe. I must say, washing my face every morning was fabulous because I always forget to do that. And I'm just I'm just not a routine kind of person. I've just never been a routine kind of person. I've tried and I failed. So having like a face routine in the morning literally made me feel so much better. It proper woke me up. The big thing which I've noticed is I only needed one coffee past Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday? I think Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. No, it must have been Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I only had one coffee, which is a miracle. Throughout the day, I've been feeling so much happier than I had been last week. Other than my minor issue I had on Tuesday, which I'm pretty sure was due to lack of sleep. I've also been loving going out in the mornings. Monday I went for a run, Tuesday I went for a walk, and then the rest of the weeks I've Weeks? West of the days of West? The rest of the days I've walked to the gym. Getting out the house before the sun rises is literally incredible. And um, I would definitely recommend doing that if you can. Jeez. One thing I don't think has improved that much is my procrastination. Turns out it takes a lot more than waking up at five to actually get me to do work. To be fair, today and yesterday we've been a little bit more productive than normal, but and I think that going on, I probably will still wake up early. Maybe not five. Anyway, at the beginning of the week, I did that little thing. I've done it again. I've done this sort of how I feel today and how I felt the latter half of the week. I'll put them on the screen. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Why was my productivity so low? Oh, then maybe I've been too generous on my productivity today. I think I may have been being too hard on my productivity before. Maybe I wasn't, to be honest. I was being really unproductive before. Maybe I am being more productive. I really cannot believe I put my productivity down. <laughs> That's so bad. I'm now looking at probably what you've got on the screen. And literally everything's gone up. Maybe I've been too generous with my energy and my happiness now. But I do generally feel so much happier and so much more energetic. Apart from Tuesday, like Tuesday was a thing. And I think Tuesday kind of, for me, is it Tuesday? Yeah. So that showed me that there is something more internal that I need to kind of sort out. But externally, <laughs> that sounds a bit, externally, my happiness and my energy and my productivity has all gone up. Pretty happy with that. Oh. Right. This has shown me that waking up in the morning is actually not as bad as it seems. And believe me, I'm not a morning, morning? <laughs> I didn't think I was a morning person, but here I am. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you want me to do anything else similar to this or have any other, I, or any other like ideas for things that I can do to try and like improve my overall well-being for a week or just for life, not even just for a week, but for life and then maybe I can make it into a weekly thing, let me know. Please subscribe if you're new and if you've made it to the end, please like the video so I let me know. So you let me know if you like these types of videos and I'm gonna stop talking because I've been talking for a while and I've got the entire week to edit, so, Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.